All right, it's Sunday. Sunday. What is it? Sunday afternoon. And we're going to fire this thing up if it will and back it out because we're going to redo the back seat. And once we get that behind us, then we'll pull the front seat out and do it. We're getting almost to the point where it's time to put the carpet in and stuff. Although some might argue you should paint the roof and all before you do all that. But you all argue amongst yourselves about that. In the meantime, I'm going to back this thing out. Another thing we should probably do is the internet's up in arms. Is the hood going to fit? My wife thinks the hood ain't going to fit. Maybe we should see if the hood fits today. Let's see how it starts this time. It doesn't like to start typically without hitting the gas. But it did <clears throat> the last time I said that when it was cold. So we'll see what happens this time. I am not touching the gas pedal. Fuel pumps on. Almost. Running now, I never touch the gas. That's good. Seems like I backed into a trash can out there. Good thing it's only plastic. Let me turn this thing on. All right, we're gonna put the rear seat together first. This is burlap. And here's the covers. We're gonna practice up on the rear seat. Right, babe? Yeah, because I lost all my photos. What's your shirt say? Love my husband. Some sometimes I want to square up. Hmm. <laughs> Anytime you're feeling froggy, leap. Yeah. All right, now I gotta find my hog ring pliers. There's some hog rings. Uh. Somewhere, somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure I got some. Not the best. Seems like those are okay, but they're a little too big. Bet y'all don't know what this is. I know what that is. Do you know what that is? Oh. Warner. Nope. I don't. It's for it's a maple syrup, a maple tree tap. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, because the bucket. Yeah, hang your bucket right there. that into the tree. I should have known that. Yes, you should But this is, looks a lot older than the stuff we used. That's because it's really old and you ain't that old. You're just only about 50 cent. Here's something else I found. Bet you don't know what them are for. I'll tell you what they're for. They're for getting them uh, spring clamps on washing machines and stuff. Them ones that always slip off your pliers and makes you mad and say things you shouldn't. Yeah. You have washing machine tools? What? You have washing machine tools? Well, sometimes they have it on cars too, but mostly washing. I haven't been to the bottom of that drawer in a long time. Look at all them uh, just four wrenches I got. Good grannies. I got two pairs of them, and I don't think I've ever had the occasion where I found them to be useful. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. I found four tall green pliers, and probably two of them should be tossed in the bushes. Probably these two? Yeah, but we're they're not going to do that. Cheap. That would go against tradition of never throwing nothing away. Yeah. Right, babe? Right. All right, I'm going to shut up now and get back to upholstery. Here's a tool that I've never found useful either. However, it's fully drop forged. Globe Master. Seems to be of decent quality, but well, be better served as art of some kind. What does that look like to you? Mm, kind of like a mm. yeah, one of them. That's what it looks like. One of them. Look, there's a looks to be a homemade spark plug boot puller. Pretty nice thing right there. You're really getting sidetracked. Huh? You're really getting sidetracked. I am focused. Focused on all the cool stuff you own. You know what this is? Oh, um... Gosh, yep. I think we've used this before. What is this? I don't remember what I was talking about, but I'm sure it was exciting. Uh, my neighbor came over. He's working on a motorcycle. And he can't get it to run right. I don't know if I can, but you know, I'll give her a shot. Um, what was I doing? I need a new toolbox is what I need. I bought that that toolbox. I was mentioned this in another video, some of the memories I got in here. That toolbox <clears throat> bought it at a flea market. I think it was like twelve. My dad paid a hundred dollars for it, and I had to pay him back. Which I don't recall how I did that. That was a lot of money. But I done it, I think. You know, that engine right there was in the car, a 1980 Pontiac Firebird I used to have, that I was driving when I met Mrs. Heavy Chevy, back when she was 16 years old. Whew, that's a long time ago. Here's another thing I still have. It's a wheel. That was on my parents' 1980 Pontiac Parisienne station wagon. It was a Bonneville, maybe. Same, same thing. It was a station wagon. It had a 5.7 diesel in it, but that's a wheel off it. That I used for a base for my grinder. Which I bought at an auction. That was across the street. The old man lived there and... He was a tractor guy, but he finally died. And anyway, I got that at the auction. There's all kind of neat stuff in here that I remember about. 
some of you have pointed out there's a flat head under the workbench. That and a transmission right there it was the original transmission that came in the 46 Ford. And it's only got 12,000 miles on it. And that engine, I want to say that came out of a 48 Ford Coupe or something. Anyway, my I remember my dad bought it and sent it to the machine shop. So it's all bored out, supposedly, and ready to go. You know, and I got all the parts for it up there. There's a guy that lives within driving distance of me. His name is Ben Hag. Anyway, he uh, kind of specializes in that old stuff. I've been thinking about take that engine and all them parts over there and have him to put it together. Be kind of neat. Maybe put it in that 36 Ford. All right, I'm still blabbering and ain't done a lick on the seat. Let me get busy. There, I got it. Draw it out. Look who's back. Yeah, I will. I, you hadn't. You hadn't said exactly how you wanted me to do that, and I wasn't cutting it until I knew for sure. Well, now you know. All right, we gotta cut that out. What we need is that um, that quit working. We electric, yeah, you need electric an electric knife. electric knife for carving turkeys, but we ain't got that worked one. good. Well, I had a long phone call, so didn't have the camera on, and we done most of this while the cam while I was on that phone call. But as you can see, we used the lift to compress the spring so we could get the um, seat cover that on. Was my suggestion. Because you were getting pretty aggravated pushing down and I wasn't working fast enough. Yeah, she doesn't work fast enough. That's 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 a true statement. <laughs> but I've had great display of patience here recently. <laughs> and uh we're gonna flip that seat over. Flip the seat over, let's let us see what it looks like. You're seeing it before I am. Looks pretty good. We got a, we got a few wrinkles to get out of it, but I don't think we can grieve about that. Whew. I think it's okay. That was a job. That was a job. All right, let's work on the wrinkles a little bit, and then we'll see what we see. Get up there and sit on it. I don't know about that. That's pretty wobbly. That's going to be even more wobbly. No, it's not. And it's closer to it. Bang! Oh, I can smack you right now. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. It's kind of creaky though, ain't it? Or was that you? It's the board underneath, dear. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to have to table this video for today because we got to go. It's Mother's Day today. Now, some of you say stuff like, Hey, I thought Mother's Day was two weeks ago. That's because sometimes I make these videos and wait a little while until I post it. Yeah. So, well, today it's Mother's Day. It may not be when you watch the video. Or it may be a Mother's Day a year from now. Regardless, call your mama, tell your lover. And have patience with her. <laughs> and if you're close by, go over and have her cook something for you.